guess who else I ran into? Uh, you ran into someone else in the woods? My God, the woods is full of people. <laughs> <laughs> it was only Charlie. Charlie? Who's Charlie? Charlie Norman, our mailman. Uh, what's Charlie the mailman doing in the woods? <laughs> he was walking on the road. Well, you didn't tell me you were on the road. You said you were in the woods. <laughs> The road runs through the woods, you know. Well, of course it does. Charlie wants to put in our new dock. What for? To put park the boat beside. I'll put in the dock. Ah, uh -huh. you won't put in the dock. Why not? Because you're too old. <laughs> I'm not old. I'm middle-aged. <laughs> <laughs> old Pearson's been putting in our docks in the cell, God knows when. But he died this past winter, so Charlie's offered to do it for us, now that Pearson's gone to his just reward. How'd that come about? I don't know, dear. I guess he got ill. No, I mean, how'd the conversation about the dock come about? Oh, well, we started talking about the dock, because Charlie says he's going to start delivering the mail by boat in a couple of weeks, and he wanted to be sure that we were all right. He must be the busiest man in the state of Maine. He certainly is the dimmest witted. Oh, man. Yeah, I remember Charlie when he was just a little blonde haired kid. Mm -hmm. He used to laugh at anything and everything all the time. I, I thought he was a little deficient myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Well, let's see. Charlie must be about 30 by now. Charlie is 44. Two years older than Chelsea. Chelsea is 42? Our Chelsea? <laughs> Great, so. Good God. <laughs> what do you think? Quite a sight. <laughs> that table a bit heavy? Yes, my father built it. It's almost as old as the house. Oh, your father built that table? Yes. The first year I went to Camp Kuchikaya. Charlie says that we shouldn't expect Miss Appley to be up here this season. <coughs> Who's Miss Appley? Miss <laughs> Appley Norman, who lives with Miss Tate. Oh. Tate, hey, how do you like this one? Stunning. <laughs> My goodness, they must be in their 90s by now. I remember them. They were here together when I was in my teenage years. Oh, there they were, wearing their neckties, singing the gazebo, holding hands. Oh, what a marvelous love affair. Can you imagine being together for so long? No. Nope. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Charlie says that Miss Appley is just too frail, and Miss Tate won't come without. So, I believe their neighbor, their nephew will take the house. It's kind of sad, isn't it? Ah! Oh! oh, Elmer, oh my poor Elmer. Oh, is that a terrible fool? Who's poor Elmer? Elmer, my dog. Oh. Oh, he fell in the fireplace. Oh, yeah. Oh, poor Elmer. The life you've led. Do you realize he turned 65 this spring? I must say I wasn't aware of that. I got him on my fourth birthday. I remember it quite clearly. I wanted a red scooter, but my father said, red scooters are excessive and contrary to the ways of the Lord. I said I'd understand when I was older. I'm a lot older, and I still don't understand. But he gave me Elmer. And Elmer and I became the best of friends. The times we had. He was my first true love, you know. <laughs> really, Ethel, there's no need to review the vagaries of your youth. <laughs> I'm well aware I wasn't the first in line. Oh, no. You were a rather cheap substitute for my darling Elmer. 